So for more insight into the story, we now welcome cybersecurity researcher and expert Oren Elimelech, the founder and the CEO of Cyber Team 360, and he joins us from Tel Aviv. Oren, thank you as always for your time. It's staggering to think that personal information, posts and pictures of around 1 million people could be made public thanks to this hack. We're used to hearing about hacks targeting sensitive security information, but this is about people's intimate private lives. Your thoughts on the scale and impact of a hack like this? Thank you for having me. And yes, this is quite staggering. Uh, we've seen in the recent weeks and months multiple attacks from various threat actors, and this is definitely uh, more personal, more targeting our own personal life. It affects uh, over a million people, and some of them are individual who are in the closet, LGBT community that don't want to be exposed. And as such, this raises a concern. Uh, I think we're going to see more attacks and as we say in, in soccer and football, the best uh, uh, defense is offense. In cyber, it's different. Companies need to be more vigilant, more prepared, and they need to prepare in advance in case of a cyber breach. This is no longer a matter of if, it's a matter of time. You will be breached. You just need to be aware and prepared. And uh, Atraf dating site and many other sites, public site, known sites, are susceptible to the attack and were breached by Black Shadow. So let's talk a little bit more about this current case which is unfolding as we speak. This ransom has been offered digitally. What options do authorities in Israel actually have? Because paying up would lead some kind of precedent to be set for future attacks and not responding could potentially expose people's personal information being revealed, including an HIV status. So what do authorities do right now? So it's quite of a predicament, as you uh, articulately explained. And in one way, you are not allowed to pay because you are contradicting uh, government rules, uh, not to sponsor terror organization and uh, laundering money. But on the other hand, what do companies can do in order to protect their asset, their client, their customers, their clientele? So definitely quite a predicament, quite a dilemma here. And uh, I can tell you from my own experience dealing with cyber attacks, dealing with several ransomware notice, companies do tend to pay and it's a financial business. In the end, Black Shadow uh, is a financial motivated org organization. It's a threat actor looking for money as they articulately explained. And from the demand, they said they want money, they're after money, so they're willing to negotiate. They're asking for a million dollar, but they will uh, probably expect less in order to start a negotiation high, but definitely this needs to be in the table. Usually, I say quite simply, negotiate. As they mentioned, nobody tried to negotiate. I think negotiation should be always on the table in order to better understand what type of data they're holding, what they're gonna do with it, in order to understand their motivation, their psychology of the threat actor involved. And so definitely, in order also to prevent further data leakage, Negotiation is a must. We certainly will be watching to see how the situation unfolds and, of course, a very worrying situation for those users who are waiting to see exactly what happens to their personal information. Thank you for your insights, cybersecurity researcher and expert Oren Elimelach, speaking to us live from Tel Aviv.